That's the sound of the police. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the beast. Everybody's getting raided. <laughs> All right, we are back to the old basement. One point. So if you guys caught the first episode of Violet uh, Return to Basement, the full version, we were working for Tuco for a bit. Actually, we were kind of like, you know, literally held hostage by Tuco until we decided to flee. He's taking over our old uncle's garage. We moved our operation over to the old computer club. The downside, however, is that now we are working for Miguel and Miguel requires 10 packs of the old greeny green green in order to not apparently kill us. So from the frying pan into the fire, apparently. So here's what I plan we do. We still have to make money. And we also got to get this um, green produced. So here's what I'm planning we do. Let's first and foremost dig this up. You need to stop selling. Stop selling my green. So here's what I'm planning we do. We got to first and foremost bring up a battery here. I'm going to have two boys building, or at least producing, one boy selling. That way, we're still making money, but we're also getting the extra packs that we need for Miguel at the same time. So, let's go ahead and put that there. This could be sold off now, because this is what we're going to make the other... You guys aren't selling, right? No, good, good, good. They've stopped. So here we will do grow box like so. And while we're at it, we could also sell this one, because that one is not going to be used for a bit now. We're going to have one seller, which is going to be Donald from early. Donald's still apparently making it from jump to jump with us. Everybody else has either died in the moves that we've made, but Donald's still up and banging. Gunter, I know this one dude who fitted up a grow box with all kinds of tubes and bottles. Basically a bunch of useful crap for improving growers. With an improved grow box, we could produce more product faster. Hell yeah, just in time. We might just be able to handle Miguel's order. We'll make it, but, but let's set the base a little bit better overall. Better rooms would be way more efficient. And let's try to fix something else up in our base too. I, I was thinking we could get a nicer couch for more effective napping. Okay, so I think this is probably, yes, we can now finally get upgrades to our base here. We don't have enough power for that. So upgrade the battery first. And since we're doing the story, like, it's totally opening up all the stuff that we can do. Fortunately for us, I played the early and mid-game more than enough times so I know what I'm doing. Late game, you know, they might have added some new things that I gotta worry about for late game, but for now we're fine. So, one day, two people producing, that's fine. Yo, you boys playing ding dong ping pong with your shrivel crap? Uh, yeah, whatever. Here's 10 green, just like we agreed. Looking good, my little ends. Here's your 750. Keep it up. See you in two days for the next batch. Uh, great. See you then. It's always it's always really awkward moment when you're you're produced with the N word <laughs> in front of you when you're like the whitest man in the entire world. It's kind of like um huh. <laughs> so, we're making money, and we have a little bit over a day, I would say. Okay, so we've gone long enough now that apparently we are good with Miguel. No. I'm gonna give you two days, and I'll be expecting 20 green. Uh, I'm not sure we can handle that much. Dig deep, MF. I'm gonna bust your teeth with my iron thing. Two days. I'll be coming for the next batch. 20 green, and I'll be paying you 1700. I'm not sure how wise it would be to have a money room in the upper level where a bunch of like, you know, crackheads and like, you know, junkies are coming in to buy your your narcotics, but um, we're gonna have to do it because right now we're capping up, which is no good. There you see, Gunther, I told you to keep your panties dry. Everything is under control. And I told you I had a bad feeling. Dude, you're leaving a puddle. That's what you say. It's not a puddle. This is what we're stuck here doing for the rest of my life, just producing 20 green for this man over and over. See, now we're getting close again because, see, would we. Oh, uh, who's, who's showing up? Ah! Uh, who's this? No, no, Tuco found us! Yo, yo, I got like. I got like six. I gotta make six more in 14 hours, and Tuco found us. Ah! He's gonna kill Donald! There you are, you crackers! I found you! Thought you could run out with my cheese? Well, think again. Damn it, Kenny, it's this wing nut again. Does this guy seem under control to you? Where, where did that MF come from? Damn! Thank you, idiot. What are we gonna do? I don't wanna die. Uh, this is Miguel's territory, right? Tupo can't capture our base unless he wants to answer to Miguel. Yeah, but 
will be already fish food by then. We gotta figure out a way to distract them. That's it, I've got it! What did you come up with this time? Hello, Miguel? Hello? Ain't need no flat-toed honkies today, I'm feeding my pets. Go on and get to the... I, I don't pretend to know all the slang in the world, but some of this stuff sounds really ridiculous. What does that even mean? No, no, I, I need to share some very important information with you. A couple of days ago, I saw some of Tupo's guys cleaning out a drugstore. It looked like one of our, yours. Ah, so that's that MF. I'm gonna put some crap inside that. You know what? Thanks for the word, boys. Get you back in the honey kind. Sure, whatever that means as well. Okay, um... So they're... They're gonna go into war now with each other. <laughs> this can't be good. This can't be good if these two figure out what we've done. This for my drugstore, Tupo. I know you're the one who knocked it over. What are you saying, you cracker? I'll tear you apart. Alright, they're just... Uh, <laughs> fighting it out everywhere. Yo, you little punk-ass bee. This is my territory now. Cheese and crackers, this is war, Miguel. You got them right, this is war, Tupo. What does that mean for me? <laughs> just chilling over here on my own? Well, they took over the entire territory. Tupo's just now apparently been wiped out from here. Well, hell, Kenny. Sure made a mess. Don't worry about it, I've done this a doubt. You, you always say that. If I... I'm frozen. The game freeze. Alright, so this is taking place right after the little gang war that went down. My game froze, it wouldn't transition to this, the end of that stage to the next one. Deleted everything, went back to the very first level, played all the way up to this point again. And now it finally worked. So, I'm a little bit agitated, but at least I got it working, which is the important part. So if it seems a little bit like, you know, weird, like transition, sorry, I... You know, bugs, man, what can you do? Gunther met a great programmer. He had the cash to start developing his game. And he had all kinds of ideas for new game mechanics. In the Chinese restaurant across the road, Kenny was already waiting for Gunther. Like we have the wanted of Tuco Miguel. We need to figure out the situation with Tupo and Miguel. It's too expensive dealing with those scumbags, we need to come up with another way to sell our goods. The faces darkened and thought, and then suddenly, Huao Zhao approached them. The owner, cook, waiter, and cleaner of the restaurant. What you got for us, Huai Zhao? Can I help you, boy, with something? Asked Huai Zhao. It was obvious that his restaurant was circling the drain. But then Gunther had another brilliant idea. You know, I guess we're gonna work from the Chinese store or what? There we go, level completed. Thank goodness, God. So Huai Zhao got into some financial problems and has agreed to work with us while he digs himself out of a hole. In a month, he needs to pay 11000 to his investor, or he'll lose all his restaurants. We'll supply Huao Zhao with the goods, selling them is his problem. Yes, sell no problem, but you protect me and my restaurants. No one's screwed in the ass. <laughs> we'll go with that one. Yeah, you, uh, you'll pick up a load every three days, the first batch is ready. That right, three day. I bring you money and pick up load. Cool, let's get cooking, Kenny. We've got a lot of work to do. Now the gangs are busy with each other, and they've now not paying attention to us. Let's take advantage of the situation. Don't mess with them, and they'll leave us alone. Alright, simple enough. So, let's start cooking, I guess. So we'd have to worry about selling here at the moment. However, we know that Gunter's obviously a good producer. Kenny isn't bad, he's like at a one. This guy is definitely not somebody we need producing. We need uh, an actual cook for that. Mm, a new employee is available. That would probably be the cook. The one thing I'm noticing right here, though, that there is no locker room. I could get rid of one of these restrooms, though, and probably build it from that. Well, because it's story, I'm going to wait up for a while before I make any sort of decision like that. See, these guys are still going at it over here. I warned you not to mess with me, Tupo. I'm going to lay some track up on your ass. 
Oh, Miguel, I can just taste your crackers. Uh, this guy with his freaking crackers. So, I mean, we're gonna easily get this batching without an actual cook. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, yeah, they're continuing the gang war over here, so apparently... We got Miguel about to attack that one, and then Tupel's gonna attack Miguel's spot over here in Miguel's office. Well, as long as they leave me alone, I'm perfectly fine, so... I guess what we could do to increase the up... We could... Can we do an upgrade? No, we don't have enough power. How about we upgrade the battery here for 125? Oh, see, the problem is... Even if I wanted to get the cook, we'd have to get rid of some buildings, put some in, and I don't think we have enough money. We're only at 384, and we can't make money until they come and pick up the batch. Hmm. So we're kind of boned in that regard, so we shouldn't really make any moves right now. Wasn't it a cool idea to get all the gangsters against each other? Yeah, and I figured out we should start working with Huao Zhao. Yeah, that's cool too. Uh, what's up with the delivery, by the way? Are we gonna make it in time? I mean, we should. We got two more days, and like, we're already at 14 to 15, so we're perfectly fine. It's just really just a matter of letting whatever's gonna go down go down. Oh no! Miguel found us. Yo! You done got into restaurant business with MF in Japanese Frankenstein. He's not. I don't think he's Japanese, Miguel. I think he's might be Chinese. Except all this crap is in my territory, so you just gotta have to bring it to me. No, no, you know, screw me. These restaurants don't belong to you. Hey, you're both mistaken. These restaurants are in my territory, so grab your crackers and get out of here. Tupo, you son of a bee. I'll destroy you. No, no, it is I who will destroy you, Miguel. <laughs> I love Tupo. He's, he's insane. We need to keep them from capturing our restaurants. What do you mean from taking our restaurants? Yeah, there's one right there. I, I can't... I can't even hire people right now. Okay, I'm gonna wait it out. Ideally, right now, this is the point where you'd want to send, like, you know, some goons over there for protection. Oh, they're running over that place. Oh no, this is no good! Gang banner capture Squid Tentacle. You take it back, or we screwed in ass. This doesn't sound good, Kenny. We need to retake that restaurant. Okay. I guess without that we can't get paid, but how am I gonna- I, I, I got no money to make this happen, dog. Okay, here's what I think we do. We wait. We got three days to capture the squid tentacle, right? So for now, we maybe wait. Hopefully get some money from this batch. And then if we get money, we can start getting rid of some of these areas here. Here's a new batch for you, Huao Zhao. Okay, here your proffer from last batch, 1100. Come back in three days for a new package. So, let's go start selling this here. Let's upgrade you. Oh, we got silver wires. Costs more, a lot more money, but it might help us not have to worry too much about power. All right, hold on. Before I even do that, though, let's sell this off. I need to build myself locker room. We still have one person more than we need, so Javier, let's fire that ass now. Upgrade this. Not enough power, of course. So, do we just upgrade for four more at 125 or go for the eight at 500? We're at 1349 right now, but we might need to hire multiple goons to make this happen, so taking a 500 hit right now would be probably too much. Let's just go for the regular upgrade. And then, upgrade that way. Now, the only downside right now is that, I mean, what if we get rid of one of the extra grow boxes? How much of them do we have? We have 11 of 15. You know what, I think two grow boxes should be enough. Sell this off as well. And what I'll do is get another locker. And this way we could get two dudes to go over there. All right, Micah and Lois. Oh, we can hire three people. Oh, okay. You know what? Three should guarantee that we get it. Three should guarantee that we get it. So choose, choose, and choose. I could also give you some green that's going to give you passive healing. Increases one's pain threshold. I don't think we need it for those guys that are not really the tough guys, so I think that should be fine. So, three of you come over here and attack. 16 hours. <laughs> the trip over there is also taking up time. By the way, if we don't actually nail it right now in this go, I don't think we have enough time to send another squad in there. But we got it. Yes, we got it. Damn it. We'll be back. Welcome to the Sensitive Squid. Thank you. We're back in business. Now, you go out of my restaurant, or your fighter will screw my worker. So do me! 
<laughs> you know, uh, for a while now, I thought he kept on talking about, like, you know, messing with his booty, like, in a sense, like, in a business stand. This guy's literally talking about messing with people's booties now. Is there anything else that we want? No, no, we, well, we, we can't do that, right? Because it's said that if we attack them, they'll attack us. Although, there's abandoned laundry over here. That's not gang territory. Same with the old Roach Motel, right? That's just, they're just hobos. We got five hobos. You know what? If we could take the spot over, why not? So now, let's see how we do over here. Got some crazy-ass hobos over here. Ooh, ooh, there was a lot of them in there. See, I thought there was like at least five of them. There was a lot more down here just kind of pedal puddled up together. We got a donut as well. Yeah, I think our boys should be able to do this. The green help with the pain threshold as well. Alright, so we took over this territory. Um, let's start selling these things out if we can. Um, okay, so let's see. We'd have a cell room here and a cell room here maybe. And maybe like a stock room over here. So, put this over here for now. Have battery up here. Sell this off. And yeah, I mean, we could produce downstairs. From In the past, I remember, you couldn't produce in the regular levels. You had to do it underground all the time. Okay, so that, that definitely makes things easier. So what we do is we put up the robots here. Sale room here. And maybe put the rest area here and then another grow box over there. And we should have the abandoned laundry as well. It's a good time. Yeah. We absolutely got it. Oh, we have enough money to pay you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, at this point, though, I don't think we do need you. So I'm going to go ahead and just fire, because if I attack like one of the other gang-owned ones, then they will start attacking us. So let's just fire these boys right here. We have to wait for the badge to come in from Zhao to get some money. And then we can start hiring some more people for the X spot. And then we have to start decking this area out as well to get it to 11,000. So with two areas basically selling, I think we should also now get the transport as well. So let's finally try out the garage here, buy transport. And let's see if this boy will move some of the extra product that we're pushing out over here back to this spot too. So let's start selling off everything over here. We got two extra lockers from that area that we captured, which is the reason why we could hire so many extra people here at the moment. So if we're going to make this happen, we need to sell and sell. Two hours later. Yes, we made it. We earned 11,000 for Hyao Xiao. Now invest in Otoch restaurant and we can make some cash. Awesome. It's all because of you, Miguel. Why'd you let me kill them? They're on my territory. Because it's my territory, you cranked up MF. Well, I don't care about the restaurants, but I'm coming for you, Miguel. No, Tupo, it's me who doesn't care about the stinking restaurants and I'm coming for you. That's the sound of the police! That's the sound of the beast! Everybody's getting raided. <laughs> we wrapped up another level there. Wow, Zhao's under arrest. And where does that leave us? The restaurant chain, the sensitive squid, was in demand among the youth of the city until the owner of the chain, Huao Zhao, was arrested on charges of flagrant sanitary violations. Huao Zhao's partners promised to fix all the problems and provide their consumers with an even better products and meet all the sanitary standards. All right, there you guys have it. I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more of Basement in the channel, go through the entire campaign out. It's complete. Let me know in the comments and be leaving a thumbs up, and we shall indeed do so. I will catch you next time.